I don't mean to come off insensitive, but forget the flag. Forget, forget that flag and any other flag. Forget that. I mean, it's a whole bunch of shit that we're going through in our country that's deeper than the Confederate flag. I had a friend who had a Confederate flag on the wall in his room. Who cares? I'm a person of color, and I'm from the West. I don't give a damn about the flag. It's just another symbol. It's a symbol. We, as a people of a free nation, we follow too many fucking symbols and idols, and and it's a whole bunch of bullshit. We have more problems. You know, we have struggles, and we have people dying. We got people hungry. We got fucking outrageous gas prices. We have bigger problems than some old ass Confederate flag. Who cares? of the heritage of the flag you know like like they say uh, the flag symbolizes the south wanting to be independent so what who cares oh I don't care I don't care about the flag fly it fly it do whatever you want to do we as a people have bigger problems than the confederate flag we got white and black problems that make no fucking sense at all. Why do white people dislike black people? Why do black people dislike white people? It is obvious why a lot of black people have, you know, animus towards white people. But there is no... Come on, man. We... I can't figure out why white people would dislike black people. Unless somebody black it did something to them. That's the bottom line. That's the only that's the only reason. Some black guy or person of color hurt this person's feelings or said something foul to the person. And that is what I believe. And it's the bottom line. It's, you can't change that. We we can't change what a group of people did to another group of people and vice versa. That shit is done and it's over with. We as a people need to let some of this shit go. Who cares about the Confederate flag? Somebody gonna say it's a symbolizing this and this and this and this and this and you're worshiping another fucking symbol. And then I was reading on the comments, so what about the ban on Markham X t shirts? Now that person has just made it a racial thing doesn't matter it's what the flag was used for after the fact it was used for hate and people don't see what it was meant to be people see what it was used for let that shit go and a lot of white people are thinking that black people are taking power from them what fucking power do you have that's worth taking Honestly, what power do the white people have that's worth taking? You don't have any power anymore. All your power is gone. You gave all your power to those who have more than you. You've given your power to those top 5%, the rich people. You've given your power to the people that have enslaved you. Let this flag thing go. Let the monkey Obama t-shirts go. Let this bullshit go and ask the question, why? Why do I dislike black people? You have to ask yourself that question. And then you have to look at everybody white. And think about all those white people who do things that you do not like. And you ask the same question, why? Why do you act like that? I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks. I've been asking why. Why do I hate white people at times? Why do I defend white people at other times? Why do I let white people get to me? Why do I let white people uh, lie to me? You know? <laughs> it's fucking funny. 
You know, you dislike somebody on Friday and you go to work with them come Monday morning. If we could be civil for eight hours a day, if we could be cool to the people who dislike us, how come we just don't be cool with it all together? Ask the person. Ask the person. Man, you black dude, man. Why do black people just like white folks? Can you? And then you'll get in a debate. You might even piss this black person off if you can prove him wrong. But be prepared for him to ask you, well, why do white people just like black people? And don't say, because the see, it's all a crime and da 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 blah 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 blah. And you already, come on, man. Nobody taking nothing from you. Nobody. Just ask a person why. Instead of hating somebody or disliking somebody for whatever reasons you have, ask them why. Why are you like that? Why are you doing this? And you can tell how good the person is based on if they can answer your question or not. But the flag. Let it go. Now I understand it means something to you. And you know, and and pretty soon we're gonna have to give up old glory. Pretty soon we'll have to give up the old red and white and blue. Red and white and blue. Oh, that was funny. We're gonna have to give up old glory soon. If the powers that be want it their way, they will have it their way. And we're gonna get rid of old glory, we're gonna get rid of the Canadian flag, and we're gonna get rid of that Mexican flag too. It's gonna be one flag. One flag that neither one of us understands. No one wants that one flag. But we're gonna have that one flag. It'll probably be a dark green flag. With the shape of our continent in it. The United Flag. Whatever it will be. It's what we're going to have to deal with. Life itself is not what we want it to be. It's what it is. And in saying that, all we got is each other. I can see where you're going. Blacks want Confederate flag banned. I don't want the Confederate, Confederate flag banned because I don't care. I've seen it. I'm not impressed. What are they going to do? Ban the Dukes of Hazard next? You can't watch the Dukes of Hazard or every episode of the Dukes of Hazard is going to have it airbrushed off the car. And put a lady's picture on the car instead of the flag. We in this country do some nonsense, bullshit. We argue and fight over the dumbest shit. And because this flag meant hate for so many people, that handful of people, or whatever, is going to get this flag banned. Why? See, freedom of speech in America is not guaranteed anymore. You can want to do the right thing, but the right thing is so far away. The right thing, you, you can't just see the right thing. You can't do the right thing all the time. So, instead of hating a black person or a white person or whatever person, you ask yourself, why do you dislike these people? And then, you go to those people and don't be mean about it. Don't be a dick about it. Say, so, you know, why can we can't why don't we get along? Ask. Instead of saying how you feel or are these niggers this or this white boy this and peck of wood that is hunky and nigga or hunky nigga. Instead of going that route, why don't you ask the person that you have not hate with? Why? You know what? White people out there, whoever watched whoever watches this video, put on your video camera. And when you reply to me directly, a reply for the real AIX, this is why whites don't like blacks. And black people out there watching this video, want you to hook up your cameras and do the same thing. Until we get this discussion going, nobody will know, and everybody keep on hating for what? It's easier to hate somebody than to understand them. I'm off to say, fuck that nigger. Fuck that black son of a bitch. Fuck that skinny ass white boy. Fuck that white bitch. Fuck that old nigga hoe. That's what we've come down to name calling and finger pointing. You've all been tubed.